Good morning YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It is photo shoot day. It's half six in the morning, so I've got to be quiet because mum and dad are still asleep upstairs. Uh, but this is it, last seven, eight months, all relies on this day. I'm going off like I'm doing a bodybuilding show, I'm not. But obviously everything has to be immaculate. These last couple of weeks slash months, everything has have to, had to be like on point otherwise the physique ain't gonna look good for the photo shoot we're all tanned up we're looking quite pumped this morning like obviously if i'm looking at the chest now it's looking okay all we're gonna do this morning is obviously dehydrate ourselves so we've not had any fluids since 8 p.m last night we're gonna have a couple of sips this morning uh, nothing too um nothing too much um, and then we've got two rice cakes to eat now with some strawberry jam um, and then we've got five grains of Himalayan salt I don't think we've got any Himalayan salt so I think table salt I'll have to do I don't know um, we're just going to check in with the coach let him look at the physique see what we're saying uh, and then little last preparations and then at 11am today that is it we'll be able to eat whatever we want and the job will be done I can't even lie, we've just had the table salt, five uh, grinds on a spoon, and I've never done that ever. I'll never do it again. It makes me feel a bit sick to be fair. I actually do feel quite sick, but it's got to be done. Um, so, cheers to my coach for making me feel sick already. Um, literally, first meal of the day now, we have got the two teaspoons of jam and then two rice cakes. So. I'm gonna get this down as now um, and then literally we can just chill and like I say it's half seven now um, so we're literally not gonna be doing anything until like half nine um, and yeah I'll, say I'll keep you updated um, but let's go man so half eight just a little update for you guys we've not done anything so far this morning all we've done is checking with clients make sure that the plans are still um, okay obviously throughout all this time we've still been working still getting in with clients it's been difficult obviously looking after them and trying to look after yourself a lot of people come into the industry and they just care about the clients and then they kind of like forget about their own journey so we're going to make sure that we're not doing this on this journey um, and making sure that we're getting everything like in and not just dicking about this so physique update we're looking kind of flat this morning well not flat but we're looking just a bit Meh. We're going to get some more rice cakes in about 9 o'clock, quarter past 9, just so that we're getting full. But we want the midsection to be not too full, otherwise it's going to look stupid. Um, so this is what we're looking like so far. I don't know if that can focus. So, okay shape. I'm quite happy with it. Ash, I'll cut it. There we go. That's better. So really sit there looking, looking lean. Um, but yeah, we're just going to have some rice cakes, fill out a bit more um, and hopefully by the shoot we've got some pump formula uh, that my coach is bringing, get pump formula going, obviously get a pump on it in the gym um, and then yeah, that's it. It's yeah. Funny. It's photo shoot time bro! So we're on route to the photo shoot, uh, we're just picking pump up the coach at the moment um, and then we're going to take the pre Form, like the, the pump formula get that on board making sure that we're looking extra tick for the photo shoot uh, but this is it man like it feels weird me doing this um, like I've not trained in five days either so obviously I feel like quite flat going into session but I'm sure when I've got a pump on I'll be I'll be nice I've literally got no uh, snacks in my bag either for after the after the photo shoot I don't know why I didn't think about doing it I've just got one protein bar so after like eight months of dieting the first thing I'm gonna be eating is a protein bar which is just just such a virgin move um so all we're gonna do probably after the photo shoot is go and get some food uh, but obviously we'll show you that after um but yeah this is it man we also have a pizza hut booked for five o'clock tonight and everyone's probably thinking why pizza why are you craving pizza i love pizza man and they do ice cream there so it's pizza and ice cream in one thing so you can't even can't you know you can't even lose plus they do a buffet so it means unlimited food so why would i not do that um, and then literally we've got a, a do tomorrow so we're going to be drinking as well so this weekend is going to be a dirty ass weekend but I'm going to record everything show you guys obviously I've shown you guys on the last video what I'm dieting like and this is just going to be what I'm binging like so enjoy but
you guys. I'm absolutely gassed. You've just seen the photos, they'll be on screen obviously back then. Uh, but mate, the fucking results were ridiculous. Like, it's just like looking back, I didn't even realise I looked like that. Like, obviously your mind, you're looking at yourself every day, you don't realise that you look like that. Um, it's just been insane. Obviously a long journey, but like, we've done it. Uh, all we did, I'll just talk you through what we did, obviously. Put cocoa butter on herself, so obviously big up Pum Coach for putting me on cocoa butter. Made, me, made myself look really like greasy in a way, shiny, make sure that the muscles are popping through. Um, we also had some pump uh, formula, obviously, just to obviously get me pumped. And then obviously for half an hour, all we did is just a bit of weights, did some like lateral raises, uh, bicep curls and so on. That was basically the process. Unfortunately, I didn't get anything on camera because I was just concentrating on obviously the end product. Uh, but obviously you've seen all the pictures and how they come out. Um, but yeah, let's fucking eat, boy. I can't wait. Pizza up tonight. Uh, we've got a, literally, I know it's weird, but I've got a protein bar now, we're going to eat the protein bar, um, but yeah, that's it. I'd like to um, obviously say, big up Pum, uh, obviously I'll put his YouTube in the description as well, obviously my coach, wouldn't have, done, like, wouldn't have done all this without him, obviously, just top, top guy, obviously done everything um, that I've obviously he's gave me. Um, so definitely check him out and also Smokes Media um, for the photography today honestly like sick pictures um, and I'll also put his YouTube on he's just started his YouTube channel so obviously link in the description go check him out as well that shit is good bro mm -hmm. so nice man let's go home and eat even more food. So I just got back. Hello. All we're doing is already rummaging cupboards. I've got some crisps. I'm actually gonna have a banana. We went to pizza in three hours, so we're just gonna do that. But <laughs> yeah, he's sick of it. <laughs> he's fed up. He's fed up for all gym talk. Oh, so God. luckily for him, we don't have to speak about gym no more. But. Are you excited that photo shoots like happen, Dad? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All starters have come out, I've made and this is what we're gonna be eating. We are back from Pizza Hut. I'll have literally just put everything what I've just ate on there, which might not seem like a lot, but boy, I literally just stuffed my face with I had like a full pizza to myself with some fries. I never have fries at Pizza Hut, but I ended up ordering some fries. Uh, obviously two salad bowls. Um, Amy, she didn't finish her pizza. So I had two slices of hers, and then I had one of my brothers as well. So we are literally pizza out. However, we've got a tub of ice cream downstairs. Got to do it, boys. Obviously, it's been a long ass day of posing and getting everything done. Uh, so I'm just gonna enjoy myself tonight. We're literally gonna stick a film on. Got a brew. Uh, and we're literally just going to relax. Uh, we've got another uh, out in tomorrow, um, another event that we need to go to. So we're going to do that. Like I say, we're going to drink. So I don't know what alcohol is going to be like. I bet you any money I'm going to be absolutely off my tits in like two drinks. Um, but honestly, it's been a blessed day. Um, and yeah, I'll check in with you in a while. So boys, it is just turning nine o'clock. I'm not even going to lie, this food baby has literally lasted about three hours like my stomach is literally blurred so the only way to cure a food baby at this rate is to eat more <laughs> so we literally <laughs> we don't always have a tub of ice cream every single week bait well i used to obviously we stopped for ages but we've got a, a massive tub of ice cream here me and amy are going to share this we say share it i'm probably going to have about what three quarters at tub and you're going to have like two teaspoons of it <laughs> Uh, we're just looking, literally sitting down watching Harry Potter, chilling, it feels so nice to be chilled out and like not thinking about what I need to be doing tomorrow and what I need to be eating, what I need to be prepping at, what I need to be drinking and all that stuff. Um, but obviously, like my coach said today, obviously we're going to enjoy it because like we've done the hard work, there's no point thinking about what we're doing next. Obviously you do know that we're going on the bulk, um, but obviously there's no point me thinking about the bulk at the moment when this is in front of me look at that oh we're gonna <laughs> i'm gonna end up throwing up this is gonna be such a bad idea are you gonna feed me feed me no oh god 
that wouldn't make the edit anyway. Uh, so we're going to sign off tonight. That's going to be the end of the the end of the photo shoot day. Uh, I'm going to show you tomorrow what we're going to be doing throughout the day. What we're going to be eating, and basically what. So nice. No, no. I'm going to show you what we're eating, um, and kind of how we're going to approach the bulking phase, and discuss that. Um, so I will see you in the morning. Good morning, and it's the next day. Uh, we're literally. I feel food hungover. I don't even know if that's a thing. Uh, but last night we were in agonising pain. We completely finished that tub of ice cream, and I mean, we. Um, it was pretty much me um, most of the time. Amy had about five scoops, um, and I had the rest of the bowl. It was. My stomach was getting fuller, but at the same time, the ice cream kept, kept on tasting nicer and nicer. So I just kept on eating it. I probably shouldn't have done it. Literally, all night I've been just, you know, everyone now, it's just been disgusting. Like, my stomach is in pieces. This morning, I actually feel quite fresh, uh, quite tired from, like, the long day yesterday and kind of, like, manipulating the water and not eating a lot in the day and then eating a lot at night. So today, literally, like, a complete, just refreshed day eat whatever we want again have a bit of a come down um breakfast this morning nothing too fancy we're just gonna go make it now we're gonna have some porridge or some eggs depending on how i feel my stomach still feels a bit bloated this morning we've weighed in at 71.9 kg today so it's about a 2 kg rise from yesterday um which realistically was you know meant to happen with obviously all the food more water consumption um, but overall, we're really happy with the physique, really happy with how the photo shoot went yesterday. So enough of the rambling, we'll show you the physique update first this morning. Like I say, we're a bit more full this morning, um, so really sit there, nothing has changed too much. So this is what we're working with. So relatively, really happy with how I looked yesterday but Jesus Christ I'm feeling it this morning in my stomach boys it is after but and that's about it yesterday was such a challenge yeah so I don't do poses I've never done poses in my life I don't even practice them in the mirror um, I'm not that guy I'm not that guy. So yesterday we was doing the photo shoot and it was like, right, lat spread, do a lat spread, uh, flare your lats. So I tried to do it, I cannot flare my lats. Like I didn't realize, like, I didn't realize how fit and like the stand stamina on stage that the boys have to do, like when they're fucking doing the poses and stuff and smile all the way through it. Cause I was trying to do this lat spread. I woke up this morning, I feel like I've done a complete back workout. Because my lats were just like just knackered from doing it, but like the rotating the shoulders and then trying to flare them, it, and it, it was hard. It was hard. I couldn't end up doing it in the end, so we just ended up doing exercises for the photo shoot, um, just like a pull up, just so that we can say <laughs> flare lats. Um, but overall, like I said, happy. Um, I'd definitely prepare more next time as well, simply because I just wasn't prepared mentally. Um, from day from day to day, I was getting worse, like moodier, uh, mardy, and it was just it it wasn't a fun process um, in the in the long run. The first bit of it was fun, obviously seeing the scale weight drop and seeing my physique come into a shape when obviously the bulk was really intense. Obviously, my face started to get fatter. Um, but obviously the last couple of weeks of the cut was really hard um, and really silly. I just weren't enjoying it and I feel like if it had gone on anymore I just would have packed it in or I would have, I'd have just I'd have gave in to, to food or drink and stuff like that which obviously when you're on cuts and stuff like that you, you just, if you do that then you're adding extra work for you and it's not like an extra two or three days work it's like weeks slash months of work because all you've done is pig out on one day um so definitely not ideal um but like i say really happy with how yesterday when obviously the shots um obviously you'll have seen the photos and stuff so some of the photos like my back completely blew up yesterday so buzzing with that um but yes now is bulking season so today well not today tomorrow starts bulking season we're not going to go fully intense with it we're not going to track the calories as such for the first week or two 
uh, but then straight after we're going to get into it start tracking calories start eating big getting some cheat meals in and all we're going to do is just take you like take you on the journey um, and basically do what we've done with the photo shoot but do it on the bulk fast forward two weeks um from the photo shoot uh, we are literally uh back pretty much into a, a bit of a routine. Uh, we finally got his diet back, we are finally back bulking. Uh, but I'm just looking back, I've just been editing the video there, and I, obviously I didn't really wrap it up as, as well as I should have done. Obviously we didn't really tell you guys obviously what we were doing after, um, obviously throughout the week and stuff. Obviously we weren't training and we had a massive deload. Uh, but we went out for a lot of food, obviously with friends and family. Obviously took Amy out pretty much every day and we started having just loads of like, not junk food, but we ended up eating quite a lot, if I'm being honest. The stuff that we didn't show. Uh, so I managed to get a bit of footage from, we went to a, I think it's a, a like a buffet, I forgot what buffet it is now. It's a, a sushi buffet anyway. Uh, we went to Tosuki, which is in Sheffield. Managed to record all that on my phone. Um, so I thought it'd be rude not adding it in. Uh, so the next clip that you're going to see uh, is the sushi bar. Let me see. Pull it off. Let me see. Let me see. Pull it off that bit. Oh my god. That's Ready? Nice. Don't, don't. Just um. keep chewing. It gets nice to move too. Keep chewing. Oh my god. <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> what are these? What the fuck these are? These chicken skewer things. Yeah, we've got the pot and temple over as well. <laughs> yeah. Can't know. <laughs> so as we can see, we ate like a ridiculous amount. I don't even think the videos justified how much we ate. Like you you could order there was four of us so you had five obviously five selections each person so each 15 minutes you can get 20 things come out and some of the things are really small portions but some of them are like really big so we were there for two hours it's maximum two hours stay and i, I just i just picked out and ever since even to this day two weeks later we're on about 3500 calories now but i i, I cannot stop eating i'm ravenous like every time i'm eating I'm just not, it's not like filling me and I'm just a bit like, I don't know if this is just post, this is what's supposed to happen post photo shoot. Um, but honestly, it's kind of nice to be back eating and bulking a bit. Um, we've not really put on any size, we're, we're weighing in about 74 kilos. So we've got up a couple of kilos from the photo shoot, but it's just healthy weight uh, and mostly just water if I'm being honest guys. It's not anything else. It's not like we've put a lot of fat on. Uh, but we are taking things a bit slower um, than, than we said and we're just kind of like easing into the bulk. 3,500 calories should be enough to just put on a bit of weight over these next couple of weeks. But hope you've enjoyed the video. It has been the the whole photo shoot, obviously I think this is two weeks, obviously later in me speaking. But looking back, obviously it was really stressful. Um, a lot of pros and cons towards it, which I can go into detail in a bit more video. Uh, sorry in another video but yeah a couple of things obviously I, I, I'd, I'd bring up um, to obviously just be a bit like make yourself a bit aware that you kind of don't get yourself in a in a mental blockage where you, you start you know sacrificing other things and I don't mean sacrificing just going out I just mean sacrificing stuff like relationships obviously with your mum and dad um, and, like family or even your girlfriend and stuff um, obviously I can say that obviously I didn't have the best relationship with the people around me. They had to like suffer. And I know it sounds kind of like bonkers. People don't really understand that like, you know, food has that effect and stuff. But when you are running that low calories and you're still trying to perform to a certain level and you know that the end goal is obviously there, um, obviously it can be a bit, you know, you, you, you get blinkers on um, and you kind of just don't look around what you have uh, and the people that surround you so that's a bit of a deep uh situation <laughs> who, who would have thought miles and fitness have gone that deep but just literally just obviously if anyone's watched the video and anyone thought let's kind of do like a photo shoot prep or you maybe wanted to step on stage 
just take it into you know take it into account that it's not all it's not all good obviously there's a lot of bad in it as well obviously we all did it naturally as well uh, so i can proud of that obviously didn't jump on gear or anything like that um so yeah anyway enough rambling um i just wanted to put that out there um literally the videos i've not really got anything planned these next couple of weeks obviously with the videos and stuff i'm going to attempt people's diets and stuff like that i think because i'm a foodie now uh but yeah that'll be another another video um i'm just literally waffling now i'm so sorry if you've not already clicked off then i'm gonna wrap the video off here thank you once again for all the support obviously through the journey uh we've hit near enough about 550 subscribers so pushing on to a thousand now uh, but literally if you've liked if you've liked this video like the content give it a like subscribe comment uh, on your thoughts obviously on the photo shoot day um and i'll see you in the next one